guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's microsoft excel tutorials video we are going to see the various shortcuts that are associated with the alt keys in microsoft excel now in our previous videos we have already seen the control key shortcuts and some function key shortcuts so in the same spirit we are going to continue with our shortcuts series and we are going to see the alt shortcuts an interesting feature about these old shortcuts is that they have been in Microsoft Excel since the previous versions as well. But in some previous versions, there were different shortcuts used. And in this version, which I'm using right now is Excel 2016, some different shortcuts are used. So an advantage uh, that we get over here is that uh, if you are well versed with the shortcuts, regarding the alt keys of the previous versions then you can use them in this version as well of course you won't be getting any visual help on that but still you can use them if you are well versed with them so uh, in today's video we are going to see that how we can uh, use all these alt shortcuts in the new version and also i'm going to show you that how can you use some of the alt shortcuts from the previous version as well so let's start with the video uh, once you have opened your Excel sheet, all you got to do for learning about the Alt shortcuts in Microsoft Excel is you got to press the Alt key. As soon as you do that, you will get a complete visual aid on how to use those shortcuts and what functions do they perform. So if you want to see its demo, you got to just press the Alt key and see uh, that in the tabs that you have got here are all these tabs we have got all these letters that are associated with them so these are actually these shortcuts and another advantage of this is once you press an alt key you can wait for as long as you want to press the next shortcut which is an added advantage and is not available in many of the features okay so let us uh, start with the file tab because uh, that's our first tab so if you press alt and then you press f then you get to the file menu now in this file you can see all these options and uh, if you want you can drag through these all options so suppose you want to open uh, a new worksheet so you got to press n now here you have got all these options that whether you want a blank workbook a sales report billing statement or whatsoever you want so what i'm going to do is create a blank workbook so i gotta press l and this will help me to create a blank workbook but i'm not going to use it so just close it and i'm back on my workbook so this makes that uh, if you want to create a new blank workbook in microsoft excel using the alt keys then what steps you need to follow you gotta press alt f n and l this steps would help you to create a blank workbook but uh, there's a catch over here that we can directly create a new workbook by pressing the shortcut as control n and boom we have got a blank workbook for ourselves so what is the usage of the all shortcuts the usage or the advantage that we get is the visual aid for example if you are over here and you just press the control key then you have got no visual aid so you do not know what next step you need to follow you got to be well versed with these shortcuts to use the control key shortcuts but that's not the case with the alt keys because you have got the visual aid and as uh, you are navigating through them you got to get to know the shortcuts and you can use them as per your wish so it's very easy for the beginners who are just trying to learn excel and trying to learn all these shortcuts you have got a visual aid so that was about the file tab as you have got visual aid so you can navigate to any menu like i'm just showing to here you can get to any place you can perform any action that you want but what if you want to come out of it so all you got to do is press the escape key once you press the escape key the function that we performed with the f key was undone and now we are in this and if you want to make sure that these all get vanished then again you got to press the escape key and on pressing this escape key second time uh, all your visual aid for the alt key has gone now this is the same thing that you need to perform again and again and again you gotta press the alt key suppose we uh, want to go to the home tab only so press h now we have got all these visual aids for the home tab you can do whatever you want like if you want to cut a particular text so first of all you gotta select something so i have selected this cell I want to cut its contents 
so uh, okay i have selected the cell press alt h for the home tab and x to cut it and if you want to paste it at some other place you can just select that particular cell press alt go to the home tab h and here is the option for paste that is v so if you press the letter v you have got another option of pasting that is through the key p if you press it then this text would be pasted over here so this is how you can go with it and this is all these ranges of shortcuts if you want to copy it you can press alt h c to copy there you will get two options if you want to copy it as a text or if you want to copy it as a picture so i'm going to show you that how can you copy it as a picture by pressing the uh, key of p uh, so you will get options like where um, what is the appearance that you'll want as shown on the screen or as shown when printed so i'm going with the screen option and i'm going to format it as a picture only and then click on ok so it's copied as a picture now if you just go to some other cell so now you can see that it has been pasted and in the form of a picture and if you want to try that uh, then it is evident from the fact that we are getting picture 2 in the name box instead of the cell number which we usually get in the case of text like this okay so this was about pasting um, it uh, a text in the form of a picture next what we have is again if we press alt key and go to the home tab then you can see that there are some um, shortcuts that are associated with numeric keys so it's pretty simple like we have bold italics and underline in the form of numerics so if i just uh, go uh, i'm putting my cursor in this cell and i press 2 to make sure that whatever text i type in here is turned into italic so you can see this italic option is now highlighted and if i just enter any text like uh, hello so it's now italics so that's how you can use the numerical key shortcuts that was pretty simple just uh, identical to the fact of the alphabetical shortcuts that we were uh, seeing up till now now if i again press the alt key go to the home tab by pressing h then we have got some of the keys which have double uh, keys like ff uh, you can see for here ff fs fg similarly we have al ac and ar so what happens uh, for them how can we use them so simple is if you want to use any of the shortcuts you gotta just press whatever you see if i'm seeing ar then i gotta press ar for the right alignment of the text in the cell so if i press the a key and then i wait then you can see that what I have got is all a list of options that are available for me to uh, carry forward. Now I can press R to, for a right alignment and C for a center alignment and that's it. So if I press R then whatever text I enter into this cell would be aligned to the right. So you can see that yes it's aligned to the right. Similarly if you press Alt key and you want to go to some other tab like if you want to go to the insert tab you got to press n for going to the insert tab and you are in the insert tab and here are also some of the shortcuts that are associated with two keys like s and uh, h keys so if you want to use them you can use them as well and if you want to come back to the place where these tabs were highlighted what you got to do is simply press the escape key so you are over here and if you want to go to some other tab like you want to go to the data tab and then you remember no i don't want to go to the data tab i wanted to go to the review tab so what you got to do is press the escape key and then press r to go to the review tab so that's how easy it is to navigate through the tabs by pressing the escape key and using the alt shortcuts so it was all about the alt shortcuts that we get in the newest version of microsoft excel but what if you are already well versed with the previous uh, versions excel shortcuts of alt keys then you can use your knowledge here as well so i'm going to show you a simple example is if i press alt a then i go to the data tab in the newest version of excel but in the previous version the shortcut that i used was alt d for going into the data menu bar so let's see what happens if we use the same shortcut so just i'm going to press the escape key and then press alt d so microsoft uh, what it does it realizes that thing that uh, office access keys alt d continue typing the menu key sequence from the earlier version of office or press escape to cancel since i'm well versed with the shortcuts over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue with it i go to press o 
and since my actor cell was inside this table so what i get is a list of the records of these table i can add new records so i can just press on new and add new record suppose i add tom so that's added and if i want to just uh, change its value say add a value of 800 sales and then i click on enter so i can add values and not only a single value i can add values as many values as i want similarly if i want to delete value then i can delete it by navigating through find previous and find next i want to delete this old value of tom that was for 500 just click on delete and it will ask you for a confirmation click on ok and you can see that the previous value of tom has been deleted and using this you can manipulate your table but this was just one shortcut from the previous version of excel if you want uh or if you're well versed in the previous uh, version shortcuts of excel then you can use them here and that is an added advantage that is offered to us by microsoft excel so that is all for today's video and i hope you all have learned something new thanks for watching goodbye